a few weeks after he was last Second out in Leeds. He got the call just before his last contest to say that he'd be on this card. He said, I just simply couldn't turn it down given the occasion. But he is interlinked with uh, Hansfield Town Football Club, really wants to have a big night down the, the line at Field Mill. He's been going to the games every weekend since he was a boy, and that explains why he is shifting so many tickets at this early stage of his career. But he said he's humble given that the cost of living prices, the financial squeeze on so many. But, uh, still, people are coming out to support him, and they're already they're in to the swing of things into full voice as the crowd starts to filter in here at the Sheffield Arena. It will be loud when Dalton Smith ring walks and Sam Amazel a little later on. Vasa centering. Chavez already trying to block two of them, but just landed a couple. Just see the blinking in the eyes of Chavez. Just felt that right hand. Come out nice and sharp and fast. Nico living up to the name of Lightning. Boxing lovely so far. He said to Sonny Edwards, he had to pick a couple of things that he does particularly well. So he creates angles brilliantly. So he sets traps too. Subtle things you don't always see. Walk you into shots. Intelligent young fighter. Just backs Chavez up with a double jab. Right hand under the elbow. Good roll encounter there. Chavez just touching the back of his head. We're lucky enough to commentate on his debut in Nottingham. And uh, what impressed me that night was his angle. Oh, yeah. oh. He lands, shifts the angle, lands again. I see that tonight, I'm sure. He's got great travelling support from Mansfield in the local area. Set your feet. Just hear Nico's corner say, you've got six rounds, you've got six rounds. Yes. Don't rush. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's keen to impress, isn't he? Man on a mission. It's a great match for him. Opponent three and three. 50 50 record. He looks solid, he's in good shape, he's come to win. All of his opponents have been unbeaten as well. He's waiting for you to step in to meet you with that backhand. See how he looks rough straight ahead of him. That's 30, take your time. Lovely drop down to the body with a left hook there. Great opening round here. Drop a shoulder. Chavez is really starting to feel the pressure here. It's been relentless for Nico. So he's just landed a counter left hook there, but he takes a deep breath as he sits down on his school, sits the, uh, the mouth guard out. He's under the cosh for that first minute. Some of the action from that opening round just missed with a well, glancing, chopping right hand over the top. Lavar's just maintaining the distance, stepping outside. There's the angles that Sonny Edwards was talking about. Screwed that right hand down the middle off the, the angle change. Well, he knows he's in a fight, doesn't he? He does. I don't think he has to be a genius to know that he's one round down already. Big gulp of water. See what he brings in round two. we go then round two of six our third contest here on before the bell welcome to those of you that joined us in the last five or ten minutes Chris Doyle here alongside Jordan Gill and Sky Nicholson to take you through our pre-broadcast segment before we go live at seven o'clock local time likes of Campbell Hatton Jordan Thompson and Vassal Dutsar big Johnny Fisher Erica Farias and Sandy Ryan running it back all to set the table very nicely for British title at 140 pounds, an all Sheffield affair between Dalton Smith and Sam Amazon live on the zone tonight in Sheffield. Lika Navaz, stable mate of Smith, just at centre ring, picking the shots well. Started fast 
against Angel Chavez, he's landed clean, and down he goes. I think he's cut, there's a head clash before that left up to the body. Yeah, holding that above the, the left eye, doesn't look happy at all. Thumb shields out. And you may be right here because the punch itself looked fairly innocuous. And we will try and get a look at that for you. I think it was the head clash that done the damage, it's really leaking blood now into the eye. It's holding it together but... I think this is going to be stopped. I think this may be all over. You're right with the, the ringside doctor who's up on the apron. He's going to have a good look at the cut now. Less than four rounds complete. I think it could be a technical draw here. What a shame for the yeah. believers. What a shame indeed. He's in full control of the contest, but that's sometimes just what happens in boxing. been there myself had a big gash on the top of my forehead you know, it's a shame technical draw but any other country it'd be a no contest but British box board, board of control rules technical draw doesn't look great on the record but it's not going to define Nico Lever's career he's going to move on he's going to be in some big fights now no you could just see the both the both squared up as he was working to the body the heads came together Nothing in it at all. You, know, you see there, he just steps in. You could say, you'd say probably Nico Levers at fault there, but you know he's he's stepping in. He's not deliberately doing that. He's in full control. He's got no need to to do that. You can see the swelling that it's causing already above the eye as uh, he's waved off there. Whoa, wow, it's really really swollen. Horrible. No chance. You see the disappointment in Nico's face, but this is boxing. This is a sport. Be absolutely gutted tonight, but when he looks back at the end of his career, he's not thinking about tonight. Howard Foster deems the injury caused by an accidental headbutt. Four rounds have not been completed, therefore, we go 59 seconds of round number two. We have a technical draw. So, an unsatisfactory ending for 